from the brand that goes the extra length in the pursuit of great flavor and co-sponsored by Costaris Motors and Kenwood, this is the Noor Taste Quest and I'm your host, Manny. And every week on Noor Taste Quest, as always, our contestants simply have to pit their culinary prowess against one another. We still need to find the Noor Taste Quest champion who would earn the bragging rights as Nigeria's culinary best. And last week was a clear indication that truly hot just got hotter. I put in a bit more than I put in before and um, I hope I can do better again. Well, I fell into probation and I need to fight for my life. I love cooking and I don't think I should go out yet. I have a feeling I am going to be on probation. Um, I guess the judges had an issue with um, the lettuce and the cabbage, and um, which I also didn't finish on time due to the fact that I didn't get the vegetables out of the fridge on time. Last week, it was all about a three-course vegetarian meal with a significant number of ingredients, 14 to be precise, meant for the original number of contestants we marched out with. But sadly, the one contestant, Victor, was given his walking papers. I am pleasantly surprised today. The people who I expected the list from, you know, bumped all the way to the top, and the people who I didn't, who I expected a lot from, um, disappointed me, so. But all in all, it was a good day. It was a good day. Victor! You will have to pack your knives. Your journey ends now. I am so sorry. Thank you very much. I'd like to find out what was going on in your head. All right, whatever you do, um, just focus, put it together, and you have great ideas, and I know you're a great cook, but today wasn't just your day, and it's pretty unfortunate. It's hard. It's, it's not a very good feeling because I actually cook from my heart and I didn't really feel it coming through. But I just hope that on the plate it tastes differently and that didn't happen too. I expected a miracle. It didn't happen, but I went wrong. I, I went wrong. It became it wasn't it wasn't happening from my heart anymore, but I tried to walk from my head, which is not my thingy and the result, not too pleasant, not pleasant at all. I've met people who kind of share the same passion and they're very wonderful friends. I've also met judges who are also passionate as well about food. So it's like, I'm now a part of a larger community that has the culinary experience, the bottom of their heart, and I feel privileged to have had this opportunity. Thank you, Kno. Thank you for the opportunity. Still from last week, it wasn't all gloomy. Well, there were medals. Well, actually, there were cash prizes for the top three contestants. Today was a pleasant surprise. I'm very pleased. Um, I don't not to. I mean, some people really shocked me today, and I'm very pleased. That's all I can say. Dixon, Wando, Ojo, Ojo. You are the third best today. <clears throat> On behalf of the brand Knorr. You've won 5,000 Naira. Wando, you're the second best today. And you have won 10,000 Naira. Dixie, now let someone else speak to you because you just amazed us today. I, I want to tell you this. You, you have exceeded my expectations for you today. I've watched you grow in the competition. You, you really amazed me today. I am so, so, so happy that you're standing there as the best for today. Wow. On behalf of Knorr, you have won 20,000 Naira today. Congratulations, Dixon. Well done. Now I want to believe I'm getting confident. I'm familiar with the terrain. 
and it's helping me better. I know that dessert should be sweet and I know that Papa will make a nice dessert. So I made it creamy and sweet and I was glad they liked it. Personally, I knew I improved in it because uh, the last week training really was a lot of, gave me a lot of insights into certain things I was doing wrong. And then I really saw that room opportunity to get going. And for today, the contestants will be cooking from their hearts. Interesting. But before then, let's meet our culinary generals. Starting off with our executive chef, Dr. Robert. And our sous chef, Chef Frags. And our second sous chef, Chef Rene. Stay with us, it's no taste quest after the break. Are here. And the flavor is three times meatier. Three times? Yes. Fuck. I can't wait to start cooking. Joyce, what special flavor do you put in your stew? And how come you're always having so many customers? It's the new No Cube so No? The new No Cube flavor is not three times meatier. Taste some. Mm, I think I'll have some more. Taste the Nor difference. Now with three times meatier flavor. Welcome back to Nor Taste Quest. The battle rages. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Now, you already know five contestants are gone. Eight to go. One victor. Will it be you? 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 It's time, Dr. Robert. I'm sure after last week, you guys can now see that it's anybody's game. Anybody can leave here with that brand new car, the cooking equipment, Two million naira and be crowned the number one. Last week we saw some fantastic work by some of you. At the same time, we found some of you to be extremely horrible. I hope that it won't be a repeat of itself again today. The theme of today's challenge is cooking from your heart. Cooking for a loved one which means we want you to bring everything out that you have inside of you and prove that when we chose you to be here we did not make a mistake you can go to your stations on your workstations you have ingredients divided for you in three sections Part of your problem is you're not able to plan yourself. So we have pre-planned for you and separated the items into starter, pineapple, brown rice, butter lettuce, puff pastry, bran flakes, gizzard, and knorr original. Those items must all feature prominently in your starter and they are on your board. Following that, you have your main, spaghetti, coconut, apples, cucumber, carrots, green peppers, pork chops, and knorr chicken. And those are all on your stove top. Last but not the least, is the one item that you all butchered last week your dessert, agbaluma, local cherries, flaked almonds, bacon, milk, and knorr original. You have, as usual, your dry goods pantry on your left, your wet goods pantries on your right. You have 90 minutes to cook for your loved one from your heart. Your time starts now.
so. <laughs> Tell us about today's lineup, Dr. Robert. How do they add up to cooking for a loved one? Chef Renee, what do you think about this lineup of ingredients that we have today? I think that this is the most interesting so far. I know I said that last week, but <laughs> <laughs> this, week. <laughs> this week this week is very, very interesting. Um, I love the Agbal more. I want to see what they're going to do with that. Um, and the bacon, to mix the Agbal more with the bacon and the almonds. Ugh. At the end of the day, it's cooking for a loved one, cooking from your heart. So they need to have a large degree of unusual things to sit down, think about, plan, decide how that's going to come into a main course, a starter, and then a dessert. Chef Rene. Same, same as Chef Rene. I really, I really got it. I actually want to go home and cook with these ingredients. Like the agbalumo is, it's in season now. It's very juicy, and I like, I like salt in dessert these days. So looking forward to that. I'm also interested to see what they will do with the spaghetti and the coconut. The, the ingredients are really alive this week. You know, so 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 alive. That's that's the word I can figure out. There's apple. It's fresh. It's sweet. It's salty. It's so many things going on. So I just want to see how they can pull it all together and give us something really good. And at the end of the day, it's also ingredients that are nutritional. You have yeah. all the vegetables possible. You have lettuce. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if we are familiar with, as that's the, of yours at home, with butter lettuce. Butter lettuce. It's a nice, succulent, yes. sweeter, crispy. sweeter, yeah. crisp, um, sweeter lettuce. Than the regular. Sweeter than regular lettuce. They have carrots, they have green peppers, they have apples, they have mm -hmm. coconut, they have a balumor. So it's a whole collection of fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. to make something that is actually tasty and healthy, healthy at the same time. Yeah. And of course, as we said a, a couple weeks ago, pork is the new white meat. Yes. Nice lean pork lean. and um, they're good and happy to go. Yeah, very good and happy to go. The pork chops, so I remember, you know, a while ago, well, last season, someone did pork chops that really, really blew my mind. So. I'm hoping today somebody can top that too. And then we're giving them the best accompaniment for pork ever. Apple. Apple, you see? I'm hoping somebody can come up with a gastric or something yeah. to go with that. Let's see. Let's and, and then, and then, a staple food that we eat here in Nigeria is rice. Yes. yes. What better rice to eat than brown rice? Well, it's healthier. It's, excuse me. I know you have your grouse with it. I mean, again, I mean, I've not been eating rice <laughs> way well, but brown rice, really? Yeah, what if I'm the one cooking the brown rice for you? Would you then eat it? I think the stress of cooking it is what makes you run and away from you it. can use your rice cooker. That's what I'm hoping. You can use your rice cooker, put the brown rice in the I, rice cooker, and just walk away from it like we did a, a couple weeks ago yes. also. Yes. Okay, that's the point there. That's the yeah. point there. Let's that's go see what the contestants are doing. Sure. Who's the loved one that is inspiring your cooking today? My husband. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I, I, ho I hope he's watching you. Yeah, he should be. He should be. And you're going to be. wow him and make him realize that you're coming home with two million naira, brand new car? Yep. Ah, wonderful. That's the plan. Andy, what's the plan giving us today? <laughs> what sip are you giving us today? There is actually no sip. There's no sip today. <laughs> At the moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they're gonna appear later. Oh, oh they're gonna appear later. So, make a pineapple sip. Ah, 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 there you go. <laughs> Thinking of it. I am. <laughs> Who's the loved one that's inspiring your cooking today? My mom. Oh. That is sweet. Yes. That is sweet. Is she watching you? She supports me all the way. She's right. everywhere. She's always okay, everywhere. Okay, make her proud today, huh? I will try. And don't cut your fingers, please. Okay, yeah. okay. Loser. <laughs> Do you know you like 
I don't know how this may sound, but I actually want you to show me that yes, you deserve to be in this competition. That today. is that is discussion that I can cook was just it was a, it's a fraud. Because I well, felt like I, 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 I pushed for you, but you are falling my hands, legs, and all body parts possible. Hey, which <laughs> love one are you cooking for? My mom. My mom doesn't think I can cook like you don't think I can cook. So, so okay. you have a point to prove. Yeah, I have a point to prove. A lot of people are waiting on this. Is she, is she watching? I think so. She okay. Is. So let's, mom. Let's see if he can if he can make you proud. Because I don't think he can cook either. <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of in between. As long as he lets go of the salad. I, I, I'm still Tim Olabode, so don't fall my hand. Eh? Once again, it's on. My new knock cubes are here. And the flavor is three times meatier. Three times? Yes. Fun. I can't wait to start cooking. Joyce, what special flavor do you put in your stew? And how come you're always having so many customers? It's the new No Cube so. No? The new No Cube flavor is not three times meatier. This song. Mm, I think I'll have some more. Taste the Nord difference. Now with three times meatier flavor. Chef Rene, I come back to you again. What are your expectations for today? I'm expecting some really great dishes. I'm expecting to be inspired by their inspirations today. I want somebody to give me, number one, like I was saying, not soggy pasta. I want somebody to do something different with the agbalumo and the bacon. I want them to be challenged, you know, I want them to take this as a real challenge and then go for it, just, you yeah. know, Blow me away. I want to just see someone who will be able to tell me a good story from their starter main course and dessert. I want to see a connection and I want to see, you know, how, you know, they dug deep to their loved ones and how they translated on the plate. I'm looking forward to a really good dessert period. I think for me, at the end of the day, I'm looking for Chucks to be wowed. Because we've gone through episode, 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 episode and I've been disappointed continuously. So I'm hoping that for once, we have a starter with a bang, a main that's going to blow me away, and most importantly, a dessert that I can just take to my bed and cuddle Messy. and watch Knorr. Yes. Yeah. You know? yes. So hopefully we're going to be wow. odd today. We'll see for today. Let's see what happens today. Yes. All right, cool.
these ingredients are just like landmines. One wrong move, and boom! And here we are, the Gnaw Taste Quest Battlefield. You have 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand back. Thank you. Whose quest is terminated today? Contestants, please present your dishes to the judges. Cooking for your loved one. I trust you all had a fantastic experience and are ready to wow the judges with your creations. I think that um, having gone around with the other judges, we feel that you guys have actually upped your game a lot today. If I call your name, please come forward with your three courses. Be ready to explain to us what you have used, how you have used them in each of those courses. Wando. Okay, can you tell us very quickly what you have done for us here, please? For the main course, it was pasta I cooked in coconut milk. Then I pan fried the, the, the pork, and then I used the apple and tatashe to make a, a puree to go with the pork. Then I um, roasted my carrots in the oven. Then I made 
I mix the abalu more with an egg with meringue to make something creamy, and then I mix the the almonds which I caramelize with the bacon, and I use it as a topping. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Thank you. Unfortunately, not very pretty. Not really appealing to look at, but I liked your. This pork fish was a bit half and half, but what's inside is really good. Your main course is good, your pork is quick, perfect. And this, you know, um, dessert thing, I think if you went back to your kitchen and think it to you, it will be a bit more successful, delicious. Thank you. I loved it. I took one, I took two, I took three, which is very unusual. And your pasta is just, uh, no, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't sit well with me, but your dessert is great. Your pork pastry is not cooked. You put it in the oven and it becomes soggy. And reason being is the temperature was wrong. You need to cook your puff pastry at roughly 400 degrees Fahrenheit so that it cooks, the butter melts quickly and it puffs up without having to become um, runny. Okay. okay? Your dessert is actually excellent. The only thing about it is it's a creamy dessert and then you have to use a knife and cut that piece of bacon. The bacon should have been crispier and into smaller pieces. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, for the start, I have a um, gizzard pie and a sticky toffee, pineapple, caramel. Then I have spaghetti and sweet sauce. Then I have biscuits with gravy. Um, that is, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with that on my plate. This is just, look at it. It's, it's not, it's not, um, I can't eat this with this. No, it's not going to work that definitely. This biscuit, I want the recipe because it's actually really good. I liked it. But this maybe should have been here and that should have been there. And this thing you did should have been tossed through the pasta. And the pork should have been seared. I'm a bit confused, I don't even know. You have a biscuit similar to an American breakfast biscuit with gravy, and that already speaks breakfast. Biscuit and gravy. And then, although the biscuit tastes nice, it's not a dessert. A hot mess. A complete hot mess. Thank you. For the starter, I did a uh, rice pudding. Okay. With a... Uh, uh, with a biscuit okay. and uh, what, what are they calling it? Pineapple. Then with the gizzard. Yeah. Okay. The gizzard's tough, and okay. then that is a lazy, lazy way to use your apples. Very lazy way. Actually, like your main course. I don't know if you didn't get enough carbonara going on in your thing. It wasn't as eggy or whatnot, but it needed salt, at least. Your start was actually... It was okay. Oh. It was okay. Thank you, sir. I've made a spaghetti with uh, apple sauce and uh, pan fried pork. That's pork chop. If you say something is a pineapple pie, I should taste a lot of pineapples. Nevertheless, it's great. I love it. Your pork, you know the ground you, you've been cooking on? I think your pork is tougher than that. If you stand on this pork right now, it, you, you, like, you'll, be, you'll be balanced. It's too tough. It looks like it has a nice color, but too tough. The sauce is great. The dessert, too tart. I pre if you had done like a cream or something mm -hmm. to go with, have it balanced better. everything out. Your soup is actually very good. It doesn't look good to eat. I don't like how you've used your bran flakes, but it tastes very good. Your pork looks very good, actually tastes very good. It's fantastic with the sauce. However, my goodness, you have cooked it, cooked it, cooked it, cooked it till it now becomes leather. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Starter. This is the starter, okay. That's the main. This is the main. That's the This is the dessert. Cut into your pork. I can cut into mine, mine is tender. Slightly underdone. This none. What do you need to do? Is there something up? Oh. There's no palm oil in this. 
No, I still I see the um coconut. No, the um almond. The yeah, the burnt oil. The bacon. The bacon. The what? The bacon. The bacon. Bacon. <laughs> sorry, sorry. And you just yeah. That's not a dessert. It's not even cold. Well, that that's, that's doesn't have to be cold, but it's not a dessert. I mean, it's like eating a, a puree with, 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 with fresh chopped apples in it. Chef Rene. I don't like anything you've put in front of me. No. I don't. And then you took the bran flakes and just scattered them on top of the plate. You probably forgot to use them. I think last minute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The main is the pork chop and um, uh, sauce. Okay. A coconut and uh, apple okay. sauce and uh, with pasta. So, you know, first of all, your starter has very wrong proportions. That's the issue. Okay. It's like a main course. Okay. And one big starch, then another starch. You know, put everything in that same patty and do like a small sauce or it would have been perfect. They both taste nice. But it doesn't gel. Your sauce and your pork, funny enough, it, would be, it tasted great. When I bit into it, I'm like, okay. But it looks like a mess, a hot mess on a plate. This, like you said, refine it and then bring it back, maybe. The sauce does taste nice. My pork is raw. Thank you very much. Thank you. I roasted the brown flakes with the almonds and canola on top. I don't know what you have going on with the carrot and what sauce. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Um, <laughs> joke. <laughs> joke. So you, know, there. you know what? The, the pastry just needed salt or something juicy, you know, too, because it was actually okay for me. Your sauce I actually liked with the pasta. My pork was fine. So it was a good main dish. I actually liked it. Over to you, Doc. Your pastry is actually very nice. Um, I, so you, you probably got one that wasn't just in the oven long enough because mine is actually perfectly cooked. But then what spoils it? You've taken this nice piece of pastry and put it on top of salad, as you called it last okay, time. It, yeah, salad. it's uh, yeah. pineapple and lettuce salad. salad. Not even salad, salad. Okay, and so as a result, the bottom of this is now soggy. So it was time. It was supposed to be topping. You time. had one hour and 30 minutes. Half an hour for your main, half an hour for your starter, half an hour for your dessert. More than enough time, not an excuse. Thank you. You have um, crispy rice, which I, that's rice. Spaghetti and the pork chop. And a really more wrapped in ham, if you not. I've never had so much sodium in one, like I feel like my sodium levels have gone. Salt in the pork, that bacon was like he didn't render it enough. The puff pastry was crispy. That's about the nicest thing I just. I don't know. I don't know why you were in focus. Like that pork, if you had cooked it perfectly, would have been would have been good. This was rolled up the same way that we rolled it and put on the plate for you. So I thought you were bringing to me raw bacon. And your pork chop, come on. Come on. Now, the only thing that I will disagree with Chef Rene and Chef Pregnant on, your dessert, although it's more like a sweet salad, is actually tasty. If you eat all the components together in one bite, you didn't get, let us, let us miss your plate. No, no, let's just miss my plate. Yeah. If you eat it in together in one bite, it's not so bad, but it's just like a sweet salad or a sweet appetizer as opposed to dessert. Thank you. Stir fried vegetables. We have the pork chops with um, uh, coconut cream as a sauce. And the dessert, I have bacon and all of that um, matches that was given, rolled up. Your pork was cooked nicely. Your pasta, I don't know what, what this is in the middle. It just doesn't combine for me. You put a little bit more sauce in there, then I'll, I'll take that, take these out. Your um, your dessert? No. I, I enjoyed my piece of boiled pork on the plate. It was really tasty. And let me bite into this. 
with a bit of the almonds. That's what they are balm with the mm. All right. And balm bacon, almonds. I'm ignoring the fact that there's something red on the plate. I still can't wrap my head around ketchup and dessert together on the same plate. How many episodes have we gone through already? How many episodes? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. How, how many ever? Anybody who is still in the competition at this point in time and puts ketchup with a main doesn't deserve to go to the next round. Then you now add a ketchup, and I'm shouting this so everybody can hear my frustration. Ketchup and dessert. What combines them together? What? What universe? Well, they... and there's, there's, no, there's no place for ketchup and dessert on the same plate. Never. Thank you. This week's results, right after this timeout. My new knock cubes are here. And the flavor is three times meatier. Three times? Yes. Fuck. I can't wait to start cooking. Joyce, what special flavor do you put in your stew? And how come you're always having so many customers? It's the new No Cube so. No? The new No Cube flavor is not three times meatier. This song. Mm, I think I'll have some more. Taste the Nor difference. Now with three times meatier flavor. Welcome back. It's that time, Dr. Robert. Wow. Um, it's kind of ironic how you went from cooking just vegetables and succeeding and you've had all sorts, meat, vegetables, fruit, and it was a hot mess today. But there are a few good people today and I applaud people, I applaud people like Ojo who I felt um, really excelled in today's task. But in general, I don't know, it's slightly sad, a more sad taste than the Agbalomo. When I saw the ingredients today, I was very, very excited because I'm thinking that these people are going to blow my mind. And then you start to bring your dishes and I'm disappointed over and over and over again. Um, I think that you should, by now should, do, should, should be able to do better than you did before. But nonetheless, there's more time if you, for whoever is left in the game, there's more time for you to better improve yourself and um, make us proud in the judges' table, okay? If I call your name, please step forward. Moses, Pupola, Chinello, and Dixon. Unfortunately, the four of you are safe and will be in the next round. Thank you very much. Ojo, Wando, and Olabode. Olabode, you're safe. Wando, you're also safe. Thank you. Ojo, you have extremely wowed us today. You took yourself from the bottom all the way to the top. Bam, 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 bam. And you have done extremely well today. A few Bad spots here and there, but you did very well. On behalf of the brand, Knorte Squash, you have won 20,000 Naira today. Thank you very much. Doom and Charles, you can please step forward. Fortunately for both of you, you ran neck and neck today, neck and neck in the very bottom, and you are both on probation for next week. If you fall in the bottom three next week, you are out and your quest will stop there. Thank you very much. Boom! Yes, indeed, there is often heartbreak too, but next week, the quest continues for Nigeria's best, and this still is the Nor Taste Quest. 
And for those of us at home, you know with Noor, everyone is a winner. And that is the reason why there are prizes to be won every single week by the viewers. Just answer the weekly question. And oh, the numbers on the screen belong to last week's winners. Congratulations. And this week's question is, who amongst these was the first to be evicted from Noor Taste Quest Season 2? A. Bolariwa. B. Kane Day. Or C. Veronica. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Who amongst these contestants was the first to be evicted from North Taste Quest Season 2? Was it A. Bolariwa or B. Kende or C. Veronica? If you have the answer, hurry up and text. Text RR, then your answer, if it's A, B or C, to the short code 33120. The first 20 correct entries will get exciting prizes from Knorr, so hurry up. And we want to hear from you as well, so please like our Facebook page, send us your comments and your favorite recipes. We say a big thank you to our co-sponsors, Costaris Motos and Kenwood. And to the Culinary Generals. What can we say? Thank you, Dr. Robert. Thank you, Chef Regs. And thank you, Chef Rene. I'm your host, Manny, and I'll see you all same time next week on Nor Taste Quest. Goodbye.